Well, hello and welcome back. Glad you've tuned in. And I'm here with another update. And this time, Prince Harry and Meghan are doing their part in this time to basically comfort people and give people a sense of assurance with a very personalized and touching post on their Instagram account. So I will read the caption, but the picture that accompanies it has a quote saying, this moment is as true a testament there is to the human spirit. And I guess that because it's unattributed, it's probably from Prince Harry or Meghan. So let's go into their post. It says, these are uncertain times and now more than ever, we need each other. We need each other for truth, for support and to feel less alone during a time that can honestly feel quite scary. There are so many around the world who need support right now, who are working tirelessly to respond to this crisis behind the scenes, on the front line or at home. Our willingness as a people to step up in the face of what we all are experiencing with COVID-19 is awe-inspiring. This moment is as true a testament there is to the human spirit. We often speak of compassion. Our lives are in some way affected by this uniting each of us globally. How we approach each other and our communities with empathy and kindness is indisputably important right now. Over the coming weeks, this will be our guiding principle. We will be sharing information and resources to help all of us navigate the uncertainty from posting accurate information and facts from trusted experts to learning about measures we can take to keep ourselves and our families healthy to working with organizations that can support our mental and emotional well-being in addition we will focus on inspiring stories of how many of you around the world are connecting in ways big and small to lift all of us up and then they say we look forward to sharing more over the days and weeks to come I've got to say that I love this. I love the Sussex Royal account. It has just such a personal vibe to it. You really feel like you're talking to two people. It doesn't feel, you know, it doesn't feel cookie cutter in any way. So I love their post. And in fact, we did hear that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were doing their part to self-isolate in this time. And I'm also hoping that all of you out there are just staying safe. Remember to wash your hands above all. So basically, I love the fact that they're going to be giving updates and partnering up with people and organizations to also talk about people's mental health and to help people feel less alone in this time. And I love the fact that they're just giving this personal post. Now, this post is of particular interest, um, not only apart from the fact that they are showing that they are really concerned for and care about and are compassionate towards those who follow them on their page, um, but they are basically just giving that sense of community. And it's just something to be appreciated. And remember that uh, when they had returned for their farewell tour, uh, that there was this talk that why didn't they bring baby Archie and there was that kind of thread going through in the negative side of their coverage that they had kept him away from the family and as it turns out it was quite a prudent move on their part to keep the baby safe and not to put him on a plane with that recycled air and you know just you know just basic common sense right and it is noteworthy that right now people are being told to self-isolate in an attempt to just look out for one another and in a way to be their brother's keeper. And as a matter of fact, we now know that many members of the uh, royal family um, have isolated themselves, have changed much of their diary and canceled so many events so that they can also keep themselves safe and not be around larger crowds in this time when basically people are being told to, to just keep safe, keep their hands clean, avoid touching their faces, up, avoid handshakes. So it is very interesting that right now Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan are just helping people out where they are to feel less alone, to feel that there is a community and that they themselves care about people. As an aside, I will talk about something that really tie this all together. If some of you remember this very talented actor called Idris Elba talked about how he himself had gotten the virus. And Idris Elba had participated in an event with Sophie Trudeau, who basically herself tested positive. So that prompted Idris Elba to test himself. 
Now, where this ties together is Idris Elba was at that event with the Formula One driver called Lewis Hamilton, who we remember a bit later met up with Prince Harry. So you can tell that right now that they have such a, a personal feel to this to let everyone know that they themselves, not only are they looking out for themselves and the, the well-being of their baby, they're trying to help people understand how to better take care of themselves in this time. So that really does wrap it all back up together and, you know, bring it all around again. And I'm hoping that they're taking care of themselves as well as everyone out there. And there was this statement that was released concerning the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as other members of the royal family have made changes to their schedules. And it said of the Duke and Duchess that like everyone else, they are taking appropriate measures and heeding government advice if and when they are specifically made aware of being in contact with someone who's tested positive, they will act accordingly. So they said that. So there we have it. And we did hear that report that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex might be traveling back with their baby sometime this summer uh, to meet with the Queen. And I think they were supposed to go to Balmoral with the Queen. So let's see whether that happens. So I'm sure they will keep us updated about their future plans as well as what they're doing to stay safe. And I will be here to keep you updated on that as well. So share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. I'd love to see her again. Consider checking out my Patreon and supporting this channel as well. I would appreciate it. And, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.